our health watch this morning, whether they're focusing on careers or taking a little more time settling down, many women these days are waiting until later to start a family. But we all know there is a, a deadline, a time when, frankly, becoming a mother is no longer an option, at least not if you want to do it with your own body. So what if there was a test, though, that could actually tell you just how much time you have left to have a baby? Turns out there is. Early show medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here to tell us about the fertility crystal ball. Great to have you back with us yeah, this thank morning. Thank you. Good to be here. So there's a test that can actually tell me. Basically, it's telling me when menopause is going to start. How how far out can it predict it? I mean, two days, two years. <laughs> it's not totally precise, Erica, but it is exciting. It's targeting about four to five years in advance. Simple blood test known as M AMH detection or anti-malarian hormone detection test, and it measures two hormones actually and sees that they actually decrease four to five years before a woman goes into menopause so it's not that precise but it does give us a general range so then it could also tell me too if I know that I'm gonna be possibly menopause will be starting in four to five years and I know that's that's the the window that I have left if I want to get pregnant right now remember the optimum age for reproduction is actually two decades earlier in most women it's in their early 20s but as you said so many women feel so much stress and anxiety about imminent menopause whether it's for fertility reasons or whether it's for the symptoms that they may be anticipating mm -hmm. which can cause a lot of anxiety that knowing in general when it can occur can be really important is this something though some doctors are saying this is such a great test they see it becoming standard is it really going to become something that that everybody could have done i think well absolutely it's a blood test right now and it is available in you have to ask your doctor for mm -hmm. it they probably will bring it to direct to consumer marketing soon and and allow women to either do it at home if wow. they can modify that right now it's a blood test but that it could be coming that way down the future if you haven't done it your doctor's office if you ask for it is it covered by insurance if not how much does it cost well it's a huge range so it could be anywhere from a hundred dollars up to $400. Some insurance companies are covering it, so you obviously want to mm -hmm. ask about that. Not all labs are offering it, so even though your doctor can actually draw the blood, they have to be able to send it to the proper lab, but I think we're going to be seeing more and more of it. Okay, while this does all sound great, this fantastic crystal ball, obviously not everybody is on board with this. There are some doctors who are actually pretty skeptical about it. What are their concerns? Well, I think that first of all, in terms of fertility, this is not the end-all and be-all, and a lot of other factors go into when a woman, woman is going to go through menopause from their life lifestyle to their family history, behavioral issues, things like smoking can accelerate menopause. So this is just one piece of the puzzle. Okay. I think it's going to be an important one, but again, knowledge is power, so it I is. think women are going to like it. Pretty incredible, I have to say. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, great to have you with us, and Good again, to welcome here. to the family. Thanks so much, Erica. For more information, log on to our partner in health coverage, webmd.com. Do a little search for menopause.